Hello, and welcome to the 50th show of the week. It's the show of the week. 50. I don't know if I've ever done 50 of anything before. So, in celebration, we're gonna lightning round through all 50 shows of the week, and I'm gonna recommend one song from every single show. And of course, there's a playlist for you to follow along if you'd like, the link's down in the description. And the pedants among you will recognize that there are actually 51 songs in this list, because I did all of the Tony Awards shows, the shows of the day, but I had actually done Fun Home already, but Rocky Horror was actually two shows, because I wanted to do a really good joke, but there are some shows that no longer have their soundtrack on Spotify, I'm looking at you, The Visit, so 51 songs for 50 shows of the week, you do the math. Little Shop of Horrors, Suddenly Seymour, one of the best love songs ever written. Calm from Ordinary Days, a lesser known musical, one of my favorite patter songs of all time. Friendship from Anything Goes, a world of old meets new with Joel Grey and Sutton Foster. One more beautiful song from a class act, a titular song that is absolutely beautiful. Hernando's Hideaway from The Pajama Game. It was a close race with Steam Heat, but I like saying Hernando's Hideaway better. And they're off from A New Brain, one of the most melancholy musical theater songs I've ever heard. Stars in the Moon from Songs for a New World, a song from a song cycle that makes me wish that there was a whole musical to go along with it. Shy from Once Upon a Mattress, Carol Burnett at her finest. The cabaret song Air Conditioner from An Evening with Sutton Foster, proving that she is truly the queen of musical theater comedy. What I Did for Love from a chorus line, the classic of all classics. Run Freedom Run from You're in Town, a classic in its own right. The Time Warp from the Rocky Horror Show, reminding you that the Hokey Pokey is not the only song with instructions written in Everybody it. Dance from Steel Pier, because it's pretty much the only song that can stand on its own. Nine People's Favorite Thing from Title of show because I strive every day to be nine people's favorite thing. On the Steps of the Palace from Into the Woods. It was a close race with all the Into the Woods songs, but I think On the Steps of the Palace is Sondheim to the core. Seventeen from Heathers, one of the most heart-wrenching songs I've ever heard. Changing My Major from Fun Home, the song that has redefined love songs on Broadway. As We Stumble Along from The Drowsy Chaperone, an ode to both a wonderful show and a fantastic pastime. The Brotherhood of Man from How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, one of Frank Lesser's best near finale dance numbers. Don't Break the Rules from Catch Me If You Can, one of Norbert Leo Butz's best dance numbers. It Only Takes a Moment from Hello Dolly, a beautiful song in the musical itself, made ten times more beautiful by its inclusion in the Pixar movie Wall-E. Maybe this time from Cabaret, one of my karaoke standards. A Little Priest from Sweeney Todd, more rhymes than you can shake a stick at. Corner of the Sky from Pippin, the most verbose I want song I've ever come across. Superboy and the Invisible Girl from Next to Normal, because... Errant vet. Errant vet. New York, New York from on the town, cause it's already stuck in your head. It's wonderful from American in Paris, because no song sounds more ridiculous when you're just saying the title of it and not singing it. It's wonderful. A musical from something rotten, because it's like a song written for this channel. Veronique from On the 20th Century, because no song I know goes through as many tempo changes. The Streets of Dublin from A Man of No Importance, because I used to audition with it. Don't Quit While You're Ahead from The Mystery of Edwin Drood, because it fulfills the trope of the song that never ends in musical theater. 76 trombones from The Music Man, because no one is more charismatic than Robert Preston. The I Love You song from the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee because there aren't a lot of platonic love songs in the world of musical theater. All that jazz from Chicago because to this day I think a lot of the 1920s gangster vernacular in it is actually made up. I mean, right up here where I store the juice? Really? Pinball Wizard from The Who's Tommy because I do play a mean pinball. First Date Last Night from Dogfight because maybe I have a thing for not quite love songs. God Don't Make No Trash from Bear because it made me cry on the bus the first time I listened to it. Our Time from Merrily We Roll Along because it also made me cry the first time I listened to it way back in high school. Show People from Curtains because it is an honor and a joy to be in show business. Nobody Makes a Pass at Me from Pins and Needles because it's probably the only song from that album that anyone still listens to. Louder Than Words from Tick Tick Boom because one, no song has that many questions and two, there are no questions like that that are as moving as that, 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 that. I've Decided to Marry You from A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, some of the most inspiring staging I have ever seen. At the Fountain from Sweet Smell of Success because that's how we should remember Brian Darcy James and not as Shrek. The Room Where It Happens from Hamilton, I think the perfect musical theater song. Rose's Turn from Gypsy, because I just heard Imelda Staunton sing it, and... Oh my god! Perfect Finite from Songs from an Unmade Bed, because... 
it reminds me of my life. For good, from Wicked, because I don't know if that song will ever get old. When you're an Adams, from the Adams family, because to pick a song. For now, from Avenue Q, because it's how I feel every day. Make them hear you from Ragtime, because it is one of the most beautiful songs in all of musical theater. And to round it all off, one day more from Les Miserables, because nothing gets my blood flowing like a fantastic Act One finale starring the entire cast belting their hearts out. And that rounds out 50 episodes, 50 episodes of Show of the Week. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll stick around for another 50 more. And I'll see you next week. Bye. If there's one thing I've learned over 50 episodes of Show of the Week, it's that I really, really need to get some more flannel. I mean, go back. How many, I, I got like five flannel shirts. I need more flannel. Nah.